Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Doug Coyman. And I want I want to thank you for being on this morning. We kind of had a we didn't tug your arm. You've been there working, busy, and Roger James went over there and he said, "Guess what? You're going to be on the morning show." And you're like, "Great. I'm excited." But, you know, talk a little bit how you kind of got involved with Superior and what's kept you with Superior all these years. Well, we my partner and I Earl the Bay started buying feeder cattle probably about 30 years ago and we started buying some off of Superior and got along pretty much really good and so we kept doing it and we're still doing it. <laughs> and you are and you you stuck around Roger James this whole time. I can't believe it. I know you've got some good stories in there especially being with Superior for 30 years. Tell us tell us any good stories you have. Well Roger James and I got hooked up to, when he was at the Sioux City Stockyards and they hired me to sell the part of the sale. So yeah, I got to know Roger pretty well and uh, we had a lot of good times together. <laughs> You know, being in the cattle business for as long as you have, what are some of the most drastic changes that you've seen over the years? Well, it seems like the younger generation is having a tougher time getting into this business because of the highs and lows in this market. Now, you know, the futures we use part of the time to make try to level that off. but And it's just tough to be a cattle feeder. My son is in with me now, a, has a small feedlot, and it's it's... The timing on when cattle work and when they don't is, but it's been that way, and I guess it'll continue to be, and <laughs> so far we've ended up being a little more profitable than than, than losing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always a good thing. Right. So talk about the cattle that you guys have on today's auction. We don't uh, represent any oh. cattle today. Okay. And, you know, what are, what are the cattle, I guess, you look for, too? When, what do you think is that buyers are looking for in cattle? Well, we have some real loyal customers that they like good good cattle cattle that grow and uh when we see a lot of cattle in the in the superior book we look at the cattle but then we look at the rep okay. the rep means an awful lot in this in this whole business and that's just a nice combination to have good cattle good rep and then it works that's it, right? The superior way. Well, thanks for being on this morning. I'm glad we took you out of that auction room and got to put you on Superior Sunrise. When we come back, another guest. Don't miss it.